Courtney, if you're gonna roll it, remember your way this time. Susie's okay. had enough. Yes, please and thank you. Good morning guys, Saturday, just getting up about 7.15 in the morning and we got a huge ride ahead of you today. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, tons of guys coming out. We're here at Gimpy's place and since New York Mike is here from Kentucky, we got a big ride planned. It's gonna be a really good local ride. We're gonna hit Hogs Back 2.0. Uh, you guys haven't seen any Hogs Back content for a while. Uh, the last Hogs Back 2.0 video from last season did it insane uh, and it should be pretty wild today. Um, so yeah, we'll see what's in store. You never know, uh, but the weather is looking like it's gonna be absolutely perfect. We even got camera girl Ksenia coming. If you guys haven't been following along, we just had a second child not too long ago. Uh, he's about eight weeks old now, his name's Adrian. He's doing great, he's a little premature, so things were a little hectic for the first two months, uh, but things seem to be leveling out now. So it's gonna be your first ride back since, um, since she was super pregnant. So she's super excited about that. And I think um, we're all excited she'll be out here filming and getting the good shots. It's gonna be an eventful day. We're gonna have a ton of fun. Um, at the end of the night, um, we're at the, in the evening around six o'clock, we're all going to DG's cabin, Drunk Guy's cabin. And uh, we're gonna hang out there. There's gonna be live music. There's gonna be food. There's gonna be a huge party. Uh, Colin and a few of the other guys are taking their mud trucks out today. <laughs> and then they're gonna meet us back at the cabin later on. So it's going to be an absolute like redneck party. Um, it's gonna be a good time. I, I think this video is gonna be a ton of fun, guys. I think the energy is gonna be really good and I'm super stoked to have you here watching. So stay tuned. We got the battle wagon sitting under the tree here, waiting to pounce. It's not as clean as it was yesterday. <laughs> we went out for a little bit of a a cruise yesterday, nothing crazy, just a little bit of a, a leisurely scenic trail ride with a few of the guys. Uh, today is what we're saving the abuse for. The machine's working good, I think it's going to work great today. No concerns, so it should be awesome. We got New York Mike's Rock and Trail Edition Razor XP1000 here and his badass toy hauler setup. It is a sweet setup. And we got Bill's Carex here, Big Balls Bill. We'll see what the Carex can do today. Bill recently got back from a, a sweet trip out to Colorado and Moab. He said it was amazing. Uh, so he put a ton of mileage on there. I'm gonna get all the gear together, have some coffee. I'll get all the camera gear set up and the guys will start getting here. Now let me show you guys my little bit of a ghetto camping setup here. Uh, front of the trailer, I got a little fridge. I've got this wicked, wicked power bank from Opes. I've been using it for a little while now. Uh, they sent me this to try out. Uh, I didn't really mention it or review anything early on because any product I review or any product I, I give any feedback on, I always tell people like, I'm not gonna use this for a week and then tell you it's the best thing out there. I need to use it, I need to cycle it, I need to see how it responds for multiple months before I can say something. I'm not gonna recommend a product if I don't know what its longevity is. So far this thing's been working great. It's like a Jackery, except it's significantly cheaper on Amazon. It puts out a ton of jam. It's got 1800 watts of power. It can power this little bar fridge for around, well, depending on the weather outside, fridges, they kind of just cycle on and off. So it only really draws power and the compressor is on. Uh, so I'd be guessing you'd get at least a day and a half out of it. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery cell. You need more info on that, read up on them. It's not a LiPo, it's a little bit different. Uh, it's a really good 
battery tech for this type of use. It's got all the cool USB plugs, it's got 12 volt out, it's got two inputs for either your charger. I'm plugged in right now, charging up, because I, I just plugged in all yesterday. I ran off the battery bank and off this thing. It's got the three plugs here, all the digital readout. It's really cool. That fan noise you're hearing isn't actually this. It's uh, my power inverter charging my, my trailer's battery bank. What we're gonna do now actually is we're gonna test it. It runs the fridge okay, but now it's running the fridge and um, I'm also gonna plug a kettle into it. I've used the microwave, it works. Uh, oh, fridge just kicked on. So you can see the compressor in the fridge is drawing about 400 watts, 425 watts um, surge and now it's dropping down to about 55 watts running. So yeah, surged over 400, 55 running, and running, it says it can last about 24 hours, but it doesn't run all the time. That's why I'm saying I'd guess it would last more like 40. I'm gonna have to run it one day until it runs dry and see how long you actually get out of it. These power portable power stations are a really good solution if you don't want a battery bank or if you want something portable you can bring between vehicles or take with you. Uh, they're really, really good. They seem expensive, but when you factor in how much it costs to build a battery bank properly in a trailer that's not movable, that's a lot bulkier, they are good bang for buck. And they're very convenient because of everything being on them already, including the readout. It's very nice, small contained unit that packs a lot of punch. Let's get the kettle plugged in and make some coffee. Let's see what's in the pantry here. Oh yeah, let's see here. Oh damn, is she gonna max out? 1248 watts. That's with about 50, so 1200 watts off the kettle. Damn. But it's pulling it good. This thing's got an 1800 watt surge. Doesn't seem phased. Yeah, I can run the kettle for 46 minutes straight. So that's not too bad. Did you survive the night? I did. How are you feeling? I'm good. You're walking a little funny. I heard Gimpy sneaking into your... Uh... You're not supposed to tell. Oh. Oops. Okay. You guys from Kentucky are about as weird as we are. Yeah. Bill, you ready? Oh, yeah. It's gonna be a good time, eh? Oh, it's gonna be one of the first ride, big group rides we've had in quite some time oh, locally yeah. here. It's sure. been a while since we had a good group together. I'm making some coffee. Right. You want some coffee? Oh, oh you got coffee in a can? <clears throat> can coffee. Can coffee? Bill, you want some coffee? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I don't have any cream though. Oh, it's black? Yeah, it's black. I got sugar. Oh. You don't like it black? Uh, That's pretty well, disrespectful you know these days, Today, my friend. You know what? I think I can make an exception. You can make an exception? Yeah, Once you go black, you never go back with coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cook it with redneck Mike. Look who just pulled in. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's super Greg. He's back. Ah. We're back. Who we got here? Can't am. There he is. Hey. hey. New wheels. Nice. That's uh, Brandon. Blue Box. Oh, Blue Box is here. New truck. That's a sweet truck. Morning. How's, How's it going, doing? buddy? Doing well. Yeah. New York. I heard you. Yeah. You gave him a, a, a farm tour. Crop yeah, tour. we just did a little crop tour. How do tour I sign up for one of those? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be good out there. The trail conditions are nice. They're not like dusty. It's like tacky. Yeah. Tons of grip yesterday on the hills. It should be good. The wrap looks super cool. So that snorkel kit you got me, and I forget who we're plugging. Dig Rig Power Sports. Yes. Yes. Thanks to those guys. Um, the only thing we found, I did have to put a oh, you mesh put a... because my intake on it. Is there a filter in there or is it just metal so guard? That's metal guard because the filter will suffocate into yeah, it will. Hole. So I'm trying to keep as much surface area for Oh, so that's flow. just to keep this from sucking into cool. the pipe. Because we went to uh, some trail riding and it was super dusty and my belt took in so much dust because it had no frog skin on it. Right. So we created this before the day car and that one water hole that was super deep that everybody swamped their belts out in, that saved me for sure. Yeah. Like yeah. if it wasn't for that, I'd be- Gimpy and I were just talking about the snorkel setups and not having them there to use yeah. on the regular, but having them there in those weird situations where you dip into something and you really weren't expecting it to be that deep. And. I was on that spot in the trail four weeks earlier and it was only two feet deep. We go through for the day car, it's, it was up to here in the water level. Like it was three and a half, four feet deep right there. So yeah, like, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, I mean, stock machines are really gonna See, it's different that. because on your machine, you they replace the intake. Yes. On mine, the intake stays and it's just the exhaust. 
Yeah, no, that's the only thing that we noticed on our kind of trial run and the super dust that it sucked in so much raw dust because yeah. there's no frog skin on it. Sweet, excited. So we're doing hogs back 2.0? Yeah, we're gonna smoke other trails first today. Though. Nice, warm up. Warm up. Um, and then finish it off on, yeah, on the yeah, hogs back stuff. in 2.0 in the end. Cool, how many machines we expect? I have no idea. It's gonna cool. be a good day. All right, let's, uh, let's all get geared up and then um, let's hit the trails. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Corny, last year we went for a birthday ride, and what is it today? My birthday! Happy birthday! So weird how that always gets set up like that. What better way to spend your birthday than with a bunch of good guys on a nice day ripping the trails? Yeah, our off-road family, buddy. You got a smile on your face? I think you do. You'll be even bigger Ooh. soon. And then Corny's gonna be playing some live Happy music birthday, for us. Buddy. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> You got a show set up for us for later? Yeah, we're gonna play some music tonight. We are gonna rock DG's cabin. This is gonna be some real Canadian redneck partying. Yeah. Just a disclaimer. I'm no professional music player, so... Dude, this guy's good. This <laughs> yeah. guy's good. He's you guys best. didn't know he was a rock star? That's how you got the cow is sexy. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, my rock star money. Yeah, I can tell. I know, I got... The tires back on. Yeah, I can relate, because, I, you know, I got all that YouTube money. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, look at these things, eh? Oh, dude, they grab so hard. Yeah, these yeah. these side lugs yeah. grab really yeah. nice. Look yeah. at the depth even in the center, though, right? Like that's... So if you go up to a 33, you get an extra half inch on the lug. Really? But it adds like eight pounds of tire. Oh, that's a oh, lot. Yeah, it's not side. worth it. Yeah. If yeah. you're always in four low, maybe, and like mud crawling, yeah, different. Then, then maybe, yeah. but if you're doing like a fair bit of roads and like... Yeah, because the 33 and up have more lug depth. And you can see it, it's a completely different great, tire. like a different tire, yeah. I noticed it even, like just going to 32s, that hill climbing. There, you can feel the rev range change a bit. Yeah. Did you adjust your weights on your clutch at uh, all? So uh, I put the stock clutch weights back in for, for the Daker, but then I didn't switch it back to the my aftermarket. That's stuff. okay, it'll be kind of fun to see. Yeah. And then when you switch it back, you'll yeah. be able to tell like whether it makes a big difference. Yeah. But I do like... Uh, the stock clutch weights for just easy cruising. Everyday kind of ride. Yeah. It's smooth, nice yep. engagement. Keeps the RPMs lower. Yep. Whereas the aftermarket Assassin, it it puts it in a higher power band all the time. So it's it's screaming when you're going slow. It's a trade off, right? Yeah. What uh, what did you do anything else besides the wheels and tires lately? Or are we still uh, we nope. still pretty much stock? Yeah, she's stock. I've been no doing changes. a lot of work at home, so Spending some funds at home in the backyard. Yeah, so. send Corny some free parts, guys. He needs them. <laughs> yeah, he needs some PRX <laughs> parts. Ksenia's here. First ride out in like seven months. She's so excited. The fleet is growing. Tony just got here in the R Max. We even got a Can Am X3. It's gonna be a good mix of machines. Hey, buddy! Oh, Blue Box is here too. Nice. Hey, you found us. Yeah. Ksenia's back! The Woo! camera girl's back in town. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can film, finally film a good video again. <laughs> that thing uh, the Nice stickers. Go two smoker. Yeah, the two stroke. Blue Box is here for some action. Brandon never disappoints. Hey, hey, what's up, Edward? You ready oh, for a good yeah. ride? Oh yeah, time to start getting things ready. Oh yeah, we got quite the day ahead of us, don't we? I think it's gonna be an interesting one. Good group? Yeah, lots going on today. Both riding and some sh some redneck Canadian redneck, redneck shenanigans. Yes, yes. We're gonna show you how the Canadian rednecks do it. Ratchet is ready for action. Nothing stock now. Nothing, yeah. Engine internals, that's it. No, I have Y scope pistons. Really? First ever set of Y scope pistons they made are in this. It was prototype for 900. I didn't know they that. Didn't have a listing. I got the very first set made. So nothing is soft. Nothing. <laughs> nice. Hey. Hi. Camera girl Ksenia, are you excited to finally be back after 11 months? We did the math. The last ride you went on was where? West Virginia. West Virginia was the last real ride she's gone on. So, mm -hmm. so welcome back. Thank you. We all missed you. 
I miss you too. All these people out there probably miss your filming. I feel so weird. Well, on the camera now. <laughs> we're gonna get back in the action. Things are gonna pick up from here moving forward. We're kind of back in a routine. Ksenia will be coming out on more rides as she can. Sorry time. Um, and we're gonna start pushing again. We got a lot of big plans for the upcoming year uh, and into next year. Like big plans, big changes for the channel uh, and some pretty ambitious goals. So stay tuned guys. Um, today's gonna be awesome and everything moving forward is gonna be awesome. Yeah, have That's you so forgotten weird. how to act on the camera? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's so weird. You gotta Stop talk it. to the camera. No. <laughs> It's been a while since we had a lineup like this. We got Fish's OG Commander here. We got Ratchet, the 900S. Gimpy's 900S. We got Mike's Trail S. Paul's XP1000. We got a Turbo RR X3. We got the KRX, Corny's Kawasaki. We got Tony's R Max 4. We got Brandon's Blue Box, the Maverick Sport, New York Mike in his 1000 XP Rock and Trail, Super Greg's Pro XP with the nice custom wrap. We got my 2017 Razor Turbo with also the Battle Wagon wrap on it. And then we got Bill's KRX 1000. And that is our lineup for the day. What a wicked turnout, what a wicked day. Also, happy birthday, Corny. Cow is sexy, it's his birthday today. So, uh, yeah, big shout out to him. He gets a sweet birthday ride. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Lucky thirteen. Lucky thirteen. Oh, yeah, it's a lucky number today. <laughs> You think we can catch him? Yeah. <laughs> you ready, Greg? Yeah. I'm sure you've got some bad plans in store for us. I'm still hungry. Let's keep going, man. Okay, man. You ready? Let's hit the trails. Today's adventure consists of an entire day of Canadian off-road redneck fun. I hope you enjoy the ride and don't forget to stick around for the party at the end. Greg says he's gonna take us down some trails to warm us up and then we're gonna work our way to the Hogsback and Hogsback 2.0 trail. Uh, we haven't run it this season yet in a group this large. Uh, I haven't hit it all this season yet, so it's gonna be a good time. Oh, the death ramp. I'm sure some of you guys remember the death ramp. I think it's coming up here. Can you believe Greg drove up and over that? Your Mike's gonna launch it. I think it's a little too soon for that, Mike. <laughs> that ramp has seen better days. If you guys recall, Greg went over that in his 900S a few years back. It hasn't been done since. Wow! <laughs> Greg, you are a legend. Yes. Super Greg! You said you can't do it on a 900S, guys. You can do it. That's why we call him Super G. Well, looks like we got some trail debris. Oh, you got the DeWalt out? Yep. I made short Surrounded work Surrounded by prickly bushes. Oh, here. I know. I can't wear sh shorts in this Is everybody caught up at the back, Julia? Really? I think they are, yeah. Okay. So next stop, we'll go down the road for a bit, and we'll get into that. Oh, I was hoping we just head back and call it a day. Yeah, that's okay. it. <laughs> yeah, we've had enough. That's <laughs> good. I've already had to reverse twice. I know. On, like, no obstacles at all. I saw you get stuck on that log. I thought you were gonna throw the towel in right there. <laughs> well, that was the ride, so I hope you enjoyed it. Man, I had a blast. I'm so glad I drove up here. Oh, oh we're, behind, we're behind Greg's house. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh. 
Sometimes you'll hear us saying things are sketchy or we're going real slow in an area that feels really off camber. And you know what, on video, sometimes you just don't see it. If we're going slow and saying that, then you just gotta kinda keep in mind that maybe the video isn't doing this section of terrain justice. mentioned earlier, Ksenia also hasn't been on a ride for quite a few months, so you kind of lose that feel when you don't come out, and, and things seem extra freaky to you when you do get back out in the trails. I remember this place. This spot here has changed quite a bit, it's really a lot more washed out than it used to be, but some of you will definitely recognize this section from previous videos. That is washed out. Are you going that way? Where are you going? Well, the trail used to go that way, but it's washed out, so I think everybody's going that way. That way? That's a washed out. This is a really fun off-camber section of trail, and that hole off to the side there could easily swallow a machine. Trust me. You got a wedge? Yep. I'll help you. Oh, nasty. Yeah, I got him a two-wheel drive right now. I'm gonna have to put him a four pretty soon. <laughs> Where do you wanna go, Tony? That way? Oh, 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 oh. See? <laughs> Need some knobby tires underneath there. My tires are kind of slick down there. Just gonna send it. Just gonna send it. See what yours is? Back up and try to get up on the high side if you can. Our first ride as a husband and wife.
Bronco? I know, over to this tree, right over. Yeah. You want me to hook you up? Yeah, I don't still want to rip the damn thing. Okay, ready? Go! happening there. Say, when in doubt? Throttle out. The moment we've all been waiting for, the fish tank. With liberties too. Yeah. I like those tanks. Yeah. They're good. The fish tank is back. You got the power to clean them out. Attaboy fish! Yeah, diff, or uh, he said his steering rack too. Uh, Who's up next? We got Ratchet. How's it feel to be back in back in action? Weird. <laughs> I forgot how to do things. This is you and grab me a beer. It's my birthday. And <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday. No drink for you. Oh, co-pilot's getting in. Let's see what you can do. This one is, uh, you gotta do some momentum on this one. All right, Mike King, king of the trails, here we go. The king of the trail. Yeah. Trail S. Nice. Oh, no, thanks. Oh, and 
be left. We got Paul. Careful, oh. Wendy! Oh. <laughs> it's a lot more grip now. It's dried up a bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying I to work bet. you up here. so I should at least do it for entertainment. Well, Tony almost did, but maybe he can one-up him. All right. Through that, yeah, that's what threw Tony to the side yeah. like crazy. He popped up here, yeah. Look how deep that is, that's probably almost up to my waist. <laughs> yeah, no. well, I mean, it's pretty deep. Past knees, Corny. How's it so far? <laughs> this, this is, is what we signed up for, eh? This is what we signed up for. Happy birthday. Thanks, buddy. You heard Corny say to Mike that the sidewalls on the XTR 370s are known to be a little soft, which helps them conform and grip really well, but it can be an issue when it comes to sidewall damage. Wow, water levels are high. Overall, we all love the XTR 370s. They work amazing in conditions like this. I'd say the area they struggle most in is sidewall durability, but like anything, it's a trade-off and you just can't have it all. Box there, he's about to take a dirt nap. I didn't even know that happened until I watched the video. Oh, yeah. I don't think this is gonna be difficult. Actually, it's pretty shoot out there. out of this creek in the past but the exits are really rutted and washed out right now there's also some trees down reducing our exit options even more the silt along the creek banks can be brutal in areas I told him not to go that way. Oh man! <laughs> Are you winching? You can see 
Greg's trying to come up with an exit strategy, but there's not many good options here. I don't know what's going on. What? So much going on. What the film? Hey, Greg, which way? Can we go over there? Are you gonna try that? How deep is the water? I don't know. Looks like Corny managed to get his KRX out of the silt there with the help of Bill's winch and his KRX pulling him backwards. Brandon's gonna give the other line a try, but there's also a tree down blocking that exit. Take my phone now. Mm -hmm. Wallet's right here too. I better take that out. Good idea. <laughs> yeah. Where'd my phone and wallet go? Look at this. I got my short pants wet already. As Courtney and I were mentioning, it is a ton of fun just cruising around in the creek like this in the water. Uh, and it's also a, a good way to rinse off the machine and give it a good deep clean. I'm sure those wheel bearings are loving this. Buddy. Yeah, just get some close Just some creek cruising. Yeah, I love the creek. Yeah, I love playing in the water too, like this. Like fresh water, Thick not mud, super no muddy. Thanks. Yeah, no. This, I'll take it. Nice skip plate rinse going on right now. Yeah. I was stuck so bad in that I saw you. Did you see that? Yeah. I just nosed in, I'm like, oh, that's soft. And I tried to reverse, like, Whoa. Yeah, instantly. Yeah, it's, the difference between being able to drive through on this, like, five feet over. Yeah, all oh, that silt. Yeah. Susie! I'm trying not to get my feet wet. <laughs> I'm trying the same thing. It's not gonna last much longer. I tried <laughs> once. <laughs> Bundy, don't do it! You got more to live for! <laughs> Backflip off the tree. New York Mike is kind of parched in this Canadian weather. He needs a beverage. Yeah, Mountain Dew, that's what we need. I really like the American saying of uh, trail sodas. Trail sodas, yes sir. My circus was one clown short. <laughs> Founder. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you. Man. Yeah. So, New York Mike and Wendy, what do you guys think of uh, the Canada so far? Uh, yeah? I know what I think of the people in Canada that I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, I think uh, off-roading is, uh, it's really a community kind of. It is. 
uh, leisure sport, if you call it. Yeah. It's really a community thing. So when you can, uh, you find the same kind of people that got the same heart, and we want some adrenaline, and we want to play around, have fun. You want to get out in the woods? Yeah. Wow. Okay, we're turning around. Okay, sounds good. We're turning around. Turn around, yep. Clutches are keeping the water flowing around. We're tilted the wrong way, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe this thing doesn't seal. Like, what the hell? Yeah. I started up and grab it. Yeah. see I got a little bit of water inside the belt case likely just a leak between the seal somewhere it may not be seated properly sometimes these can be a little bit of a pain in the butt it's pretty humid air coming out yeah. oh yeah Put a plug back in, see if you can get up out of here. It spit out a lot of water out the exhaust. Should be good. Like the outside of the, the housing is all dry already, so it's warm. Yeah, New York Mike to the rescue again for teammate JP. Uh, they're gonna go up and around this way. There's one. <laughs> I'll go around here and back up that way. Back to the deep waters. Got water in the belt case, unfortunately. I don't know why. There's a new seal on there, but I, I figure it'd be bigger it work, but okay, ready? tree on your left <clears throat> and keep your momentum buddy you got diff lock or whatever players calls oh it's called four wheel drive <laughs> all right be careful because then you get behind a tree or something you never know with those americans <laughs> 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 of a 
diff crunch. We're used to that sound right I know, here. that's a Polaris bang. Susie, this is, might be a seatbelt hill. <laughs> Corny's on oh, Corny. it. That was sexy! That's like a Ric Flair thing. Woo! 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 Is Corny going around or? No, I'm coming! You hit that with I a bang, he Mike. That. He yeah, he banged it. Oh, the top. A little bit of a dip crunch up the there. I thought it was an axle when I heard it. Yeah, it's just a Polaris sound. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Love you. Love you. Happy birthday, dear Corny! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Wait, 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 wait. Give, me me. Give me your meat! Give me your meat! I hope you get some tonight. I hope you get some cake and ice cream. Cake and ice cream. <laughs> you remind me of Jim Carrey, but redneck. Yeah, redneck Jim I've Carrey. had that. That's a compliment. I've had that many times. And I do super like that. Canadian. Yeah, I love Jim Carrey. He's awesome. I couldn't think of a much better way to spend your birthday than outdoors on a beautiful day with a ton of friends riding. I've been lucky enough to spend a handful of my birthdays over the years riding too. Talk about living the dream. Off-roading in general can be an expensive pastime, but it does really give back a lot of value. People from all walks of life enjoy off-roading for a variety of different reasons, but no matter who you talk to out on the trail, you'll likely have quite a bit in common and no shortage of things to discuss. A lot of us have been lucky enough to be riding since we were kids. Others had to earn their way and maybe got into the sport a little bit later. What got you into riding and when did you start? And what keeps you coming back for more? What are your favorite things about off-roading? Leave us a comment below. If you'd like, you can also join in on the conversations on Instagram and on Facebook. Should have gone for hogs back 2.0 right away. Yeah, we're just saying it. You know, yeah, I guess do a little ride this trail back. Yeah, we're just this are bridge then, crossing. Are you gonna hit hogs back the just road burn there? We're just gonna go back through here and then road burn to hogs back and then 2.0. Yeah. Yeah. The fish tank is down, I heard. So don't hop the diff again. We can another one. Eh? So, yeah, it's that super ATV diff. I've been giving them issues. Gimpy's having issues with his Super ATV diff as well. Yep. I got that uh, Chromoly one. And yours is fine? And mine's fine. And everybody said, don't get that one. Hit and miss, I guess. I think it's like a lot of things. Sometimes they work and there's so many variables, yeah. so many different yeah. parts. And... You can hear us talking about the various feedback we've heard on the Super ATV front differentials. Um, that's a pretty intricate component. With any part, there's certain struggles in, in one part versus the other and it's definitely easier to perfect certain components than others. But what you need in an axle might be different than what you need in a diff, or might be different than what you need in a bumper. You gotta keep that in mind. There's so many variables that play into how these things turn out that it's not always this diff is good or this diff is bad. It's is this diff good in your given application based on the way you're gonna use it is more or less the question you need to ask yourself before you say is a part good or bad. It's these unlimited variables off-road that can lead to these heated conversations you'll get involved in sometimes with one person thinking a company is complete and utter garbage and the other person preaching that they're the best thing since sliced bread. And then the truth probably lies somewhere in the middle of both of those extremes. There is no perfect part, and no company can be the best at absolutely everything. I try to think about things like this before I give any feedback or before I come to a conclusion about a, a part or a brand. There are some bad companies out there that just want a slice of the cake and don't really care much about the industry or the end users, so it's your job as a consumer to do your research and try to avoid dealing with them, and instead spend your hard-earned money with reputable businesses and brands. If a company or a brand is doing something wrong that goes against the grain of the industry, then the only way to stop them is to just not buy their product. It's, it's that simple, guys. Don't base purchase decisions strictly on cost. There's a time to penny pinch and a time to spend the extra few dollars. Oh, fish is having some issues. There he is, bro. Having some issues. His front diff blew again. Jim 
Just to conclude that rant, I promise I'm done. My point was, if you support reputable brands that give back to the industry and are passionate about it, the whole industry benefits from it. You benefit from it as a consumer with better parts in the future. If you constantly just support the cloners and the budget bin off-branded product, then you're really just harming everybody in the industry. Oh, that didn't work out for me.
other left. Keep going. Keep going other left. Keep going left. Keep going left. Yeah, there you go. At this point our group got separated, we didn't even know those guys were stuck back there, so we were heading towards the next section of trail. <laughs> Let's go Brandon! That, that is a huge hole now. Oh. Way to go Corny. That's a crazy hole! Oh, I, did good time. Oh, I almost fell in that hole! Watch out, here comes Brandon! Was good. That was a good one. Yeah. But that was that was the right way to go about it. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> oh yeah. Careful, babe. It's slippery. Keep your yeah. Hands I almost went in that hole. Grab that tree up there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get her in four wheel drive. There you go. <laughs> four wheel drive, babe. Four wheel drive. Throw I'll, the grapes. I'll come down and help you if I need to. <laughs> <laughs> As this more this mud gets up on there. Yeah. <laughs> you see what Brandon or Brandon did? That's about the best thing. Get on a kind of a levelish. Just send it. Or that. <laughs> send it, Mike. You're sober. <laughs> Worst thing you're going to end up is on your roof in there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Out of gear. You hit her in neutral. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, Kippy. Woo! Get it. There's no way we could come down that now. If you come, if you come down that, you're going in that hole no matter what. Actually, yeah, you're right. You can't. Yeah. All right, Kippy. The first thing, oh, no. the phone. Uh, yeah. I see a helmet down there. I got her phone right here. Yeah, we got it. Okay, Phone's okay. good. <laughs> oh, this might be a recovery. This is recovery. See, oh, shit. <laughs> I tried to do something and it backfired. It backfired, yep. I'm like, well, I'll try to go just nice and easy. <sighs> the straight ran out of talon, huh? Oh, your cooler's dripping. Yeah, I got a uh, helmet, I got goggles. Oh, Gimpy's getting out. Out the windshield. Woo! We're going Gimpy! back that way, by the way. Yeah, you want to go back that way? I figure. I think so. Gimpy! 
I think I think you should go to that tree. Recovery mode. You want to go that way? I think first? you should go to that tree to pull my front end down. You're then go right I, back then in. I can start it. You're gonna go right back in. But then I can start it. Okay. Yep. Go on. This is come down here, girl. This is a good shot. Good look at this. This is insane. Yeah, this is good. Okay. This is slickery. Holy Slicker and snot on a rooster's lip. You won the award today, Gippy. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I, you well, I said out. Ah. I told you I was going to do know. it. Your shirt says just going to send it. I don't know. I'm, I I'm think not we're sending gonna, that. <laughs> I think that's going to take a couple inches to get this on this. Yeah. I think we're going to have to have a machine oh. here. Yep. To pull. Okay, Susie here. Okay. I got to help out. Well, we yep. That first one's good. That's, uh, uh, All right, let's try it. I don't know. We're, we're here. Where do you want my machine? I think here. Great. Here to put uh, winch cable, here to help pull. <laughs> because way. I can't even start it right now. I need that on video. <laughs> Go as high as you can. And then hook it. Perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. Mike, you want to guide him? Yeah. So where is he coming? I guess Susie, Courtney's wife, had sent Greg a picture of Gimpy uh, with his wheels up and um, they were aware that we were stuck here. That was them calling us to make sure we were okay, whether or not we needed some extra help getting them out. But as you guys saw at that point, we had already extracted Gimpy from that hole. And now uh, you can see Courtney and the rest of the crew making their way back to meet up with us. Once we regroup, then we're gonna hit the more technical sections of trail leading towards Hogsback and the Hogsback 2.0 trail. <laughs> Sorry guys! <laughs> Keeps happening! Coming up to a pretty narrow bridge here.
it's time for an upgrade. You got the skills to drive it. The machine lets you down. <laughs> way, I was way. all over that trail trying to find oh, your yeah. action. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tim. <laughs> Yo. Can I get a damage report? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> right out. There's only one more. Thank you very much, everybody.
running on one cylinder. Really? <laughs> At idle. And you did that? He's trying to keep it fair for the rest of us. That's right. Right? And am trying to keep it fair. <laughs> You're a nice guy. I don't care what they say about you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Still doing 100% better than us. Yeah, you're next. <laughs> towards the Hogsback 2.0 section of the trail now, so there's some really fun climbs coming your way, a lot more action ahead. These trails are constantly changing and evolving just like any trail system based on the weather, the time of year, and how much use they're getting. There is a ton of grip out here today, so the sections of trail that we've struggled with before are actually pretty easy today. That doesn't mean when we come back here next time it'll be the same thing. As a lot of you regular viewers know, my wife Ksenia gets quite the workout running up and down these hills to get shot. Trying to walk up these sometimes gives you good perspective as to how steep they really are.
turn down here. It's so tight. Oh, it's not that bad actually today. all new but this other end isn't oh he popped the axle yeah she's good she's good she's good she's good she wants to stay in there yeah. i just want to turn tight yeah just don't turn just use the rear wheels to just go straight yeah so greg uh broke his outer cv joint on the driver's side and we can't get it out right now so he's just like whatever i'll leave it in there What you got there? I think I have an axle. Spare parts? Yeah. Oh, is that the Can-Am mod? Yeah, yeah, three-wheel drive. You were saying it was too easy out here today. We're making it a little harder. <laughs> well, at least it came out. It came out, but what have we done today, 20K? Is that blue box? Yeah, blue box. Yeah. Often. That, that was not us. That, that was his. Often? Yeah. I heard something crack when you went down into that. That's probably that. That's this. what that was when you lifted out and you laid into it, went kunk. <laughs> that was your backfire, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's all a good shot. Yeah. Mine does it too. Yeah, but you also are running on two cylinders. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why you got stuck in the silt, kind of, because that one wheel wasn't spinning. Yeah. Too much power. Well, this end is new. Soon that one will be. Yeah. <laughs> this end they did where they needed the new diff. Yeah. We're good. Axle's out. Well, it's about time you muscled up. Do you have any straps with you, Greg, or not? Throw I got some ratchets. Them, throw it in the box.
get a side by side. we built into the trail, that log over there, saved them from rolling all the way down. Yeah. This is down. always so sketchy. Oh yeah. This is always like a sketchy feeling trail. How's she working? Good. Yeah, it looks so like first, stealthy now, doesn't it? No, yeah, no, no yeah. logos. If I had to peel the sticker because I had to put new uh, doors on. Uh, Scratch it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to match. It looks good. New York Mike. You having fun? Yeah, man. Was what it you, worth the drive? What do you think? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah. How are you liking this trail? It's easy today, oh, dude. Yeah, the grip. Simple, yeah. We've done yeah. this when it's like frozen. Oh man. Man, it's sketchy. Yeah, Especially cool. those turns. Yeah, when you drop yeah. straight down and then turn There's right no down. grip, yeah. Oh man. Going up this one's always good. Today the grip is there though. Yeah. So will you just stop when you hit the water? <laughs> that is an option. I mean if if you want to take it literally, then yeah, that's an option. Full sand till you hit the water? But I'll film yeah. anything. It don't look bad. Well, once you do it, we can review the tape and see. Yeah. Okay. All right. Rubber side down. Well, you're. I mean, you're. You're first. So. <laughs> going down is not the hard part. You want to take a look? Coming so back. Oh, you realize not. the only way Full to get back to, to where water. we're going is we got to turn around at the yeah. end and come right back up. That's what I heard. Yeah. Nice ride.
Now I can't see the cat in the tree again. This tree fell right on the trail.
Yeah, you don't want to give it any more. You're going right in there. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of a thrill ride there. You're not on your side in the water. No, not yet. We're we're not we're not out yet either. No, it's going to be interesting going through there right now. <laughs> Two wheel drive razor. Oh no, three. It's big red. The steep angle towards the right in the creek there, as well as having the broken front axle caused Greg's machine to pull to the right, and uh, that's why you have the winch there. Anytime you break an axle in the front or the rear, it's really important to remember that if you lay into that throttle hard after with one axle, the likelihood of you breaking the other axle becomes very, very high because all the power is going to that wheel. Oh yeah, our first ride is husband and wife, you hear that guys? here he just laid into her I don't know if you guys heard it pop I think Tony got a video on his phone so hopefully he can send it to me oh, I think that might have been the other one trail is always so much fun. All right, that was great. So much grip out there today, actually. A lot more than usual. You got out no problem. It was easy, easy. That's an extreme trail, oh, isn't it, it is. Bill? The it's video does first, not do this justice. My first time on it. You haven't done that whole trail? No. Time? You killed it today. There's so much grip, eh? Oh God, yeah. So much We're grip. Great. So much grip out there. I know, you crawled up there. I've never, I've always struggled there. Oh, me too, yeah. It's my outer again. On the other side? Yeah. They did the inners before Descartes. Well, you can tell that they're worn then. Yeah, oh yeah. Now you'll have new ones. Yeah. They were short on axles, so they just gave the them. inners on both sides with my new deck. So you just snapped your second outer. Yeah, second outer. Was just a, a new, yeah. Going through that way, we only struggle coming up. Coming back there. was easy. They were easy both ways. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, should we head back? Yeah. Cool. That was awesome. So now we're gonna head back um, hit these plays and then we're gonna go to Drunk Guy's cabin for a party and some live music. It's been an amazing day so far. The trail conditions were awesome and all the machines were great. The best part is we're not even close to being done. Our next stop is DG's cabin to regroup with everybody. Then we're gonna check out some sweet mud truck action, followed by a massive bonfire and live music courtesy of our friend Corny. I'm sure you guys have heard the saying, you might die broke, but at least you had a million dollars of fun. Well, we're well on our way to that million. It's summer days and nights like this that really make life worth living. Well, did you have a fun time? Oh, yeah. It's I too did. bad you got to go already. Yeah. Baby blanket for me. Yeah. A little redneck waiting. So I'm going to go enjoy the mud trucks and party and live music and good time with the rest of the rednecks. And unfortunately, Ksenia has to go home. Yeah. Look after the little one. That's Say okay. hi to him for me. Okay. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Bye YouTube. Well, Ksenia's gone home to look after the little one and uh, our daughter. And uh, I'm just, just restocked the uh, hydration box in the back. 
and uh, now we're heading back to the mud trucks and DG's cabin. There's gonna be some live music and partying and just some good old fashioned redneck shenanigans outside the radar of Johnny Law. The best parties are the ones that no one knows are happening, except the people invited. <laughs> Big Balls, Bill always forgets Ksenia's name and he calls her Cassandra. Like Sen, Cassandra. I think it's pretty cool. These are like Bigfoot trails. I'm gonna go find the mud trucks. Well, this is a little different than we're used to, but it's still gonna be a ton of fun. Hold on, we're gonna see some serious mud flying in a second. Big side by side you got there. You like that one? Is that the men's size? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a great shiny. video, buddy. Great, the best. Oh, that pull? Jeep looks like it's uh, buried. Is that yours? No, it's my cousin Dyson's. There. You finish her off good, or? No, he's not dead. He's just got a bad low. Oh, it's okay. Just needs a little rest. Going. She didn't like it. She just needs a little rest. Look at Colin. He upgraded the razor. Okay. Oh, Let me know Hi. because What's going on, buddy? Hey, you gonna go forwards or? I really hope I don't have to choose backwards. Look how clean that thing is. Here we got Creaser's square body with 5.3 in it. This is a sweet truck, and he drives the wheels off it. Here we got Tanner rocking the old junkyard dodge on boggers. Just in case you were thinking this mud might not be deep and gooey, look at what it does to an ATV. Hold on, Creaser's gonna make that 5.3 LS scream. Truck's got a six liter LS, but I guess it's not all about displacement. Creaser made it look easy, and Colin just didn't have the clearance. Oh, it's, a, it's an L. I need bigger tires now. That's the that's I mean, You got two of them. You got I got two. You got I need 700 more. cc's more jam, though. No. Hey, no, no. Did you hit the juice in there? No. You have juice no. in it? No. I do, but I didn't <laughs> use it. How big of a shot? 130. <laughs> nice. Just just right. Is New York Mike in there? Yeah, yeah I can't back in that far. No, no, no. That's what I need to back there. I haven't tried to back up yet, so. <laughs> if you're a long-term viewer, then you're gonna know that Alex, Colin, and Tanner have been showing up in the videos since they were in their early teens. We've had the pleasure of watching them and their equipment evolve over the years. Now that Colin's out, Alex is gonna give it another go.
Well, there's no mosquitoes anymore. <laughs> Wait till you see what this thing can do. It's gonna steal the show. Yeah, I know, not what you were thinking. I guess it's not just a razor thing. Anybody know this fire extinguisher? I don't know how to use this fire extinguisher. Nope. That's working though. Luckily the guys managed to get things under control pretty quick once they figured out how to activate that weird fire extinguisher. It's definitely a little different than the ones I'm used to seeing too. Mixing fire and motorsports is never fun. It could have been a lot worse. But these things happen so it's always good to be prepared. What was it? I don't know. Any line under there or something or was it under here? These are melted. This is all melted down here. As I mentioned, I know this is a little different than the usual side-by-side -side ATV type content you guys are used to seeing. If it's got wheels and an engine, we're in. Off-road or on-road, two wheels or four, any type of motorsport is usually a good time and you're generally surrounded by a ton of great people. I'll tell you one thing's for sure, these big rigs definitely get stuck a lot deeper than our side-by-sides do. Now that we've got our fix of trails and mud for the day, it's time to head back to DG's cabin and move the party over there with some cold beer and live music. Wait, what you doing? Get a muddy. Get muddy? You guys, look, it's Courtney on stage. It's the birthday there we go. Singing. Oh, mama, down by the river. Oh, you know I'm a sinner. Oh, sinner for love. I know I'm sorry. I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Take your shirt off. OK, I will. <laughs> Will you be more entertained then, Paul? Yes! Freeze the nipples! That was sexy! That was sexy. It's hot up here. He's gonna do it! Take it off! Friend here. I didn't know if he had a gun on him or not. <laughs> you had to leave his stuff at home. I don't think I even need a guitar strap. I could just stick this thing to me. That's disgusting. Yeah, you know it, baby. Yeah, I'm your number one choice, baby. All right. All right, now that that awkward moment's done. Lordy, this sorry. is going on the internet. On the internet? Woo! Sorry, dude. I just like concerts a lot, right? <laughs> You know, it is what it is, but sometimes you go, sometimes you guys are... Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Cordy! Happy birthday to you! You are drunk, aren't you? So this song suits our uh, lifestyle pretty good, I think. This is John Prine, in spite of ourselves. <laughs>
You can taste it, Jerry. Anybody else who wants some fireball? Don't make me do this by myself. <laughs> New York, boy! Yeah, I just realized I'm going to put this bottle down. I need helpers. Luckily, we had the best team on That's the job. Right. That's right. You know, and uh, we even got a compliment from the U.S. Yeah, the U.S. is here. It is a grand fire. It's a fire. grand fire, yeah. We know, us Canadian boys know how to build a fire. Yeah, we can burn stuff with the best people. That's right. Yeah. This is eco-friendly. Yeah, it's all organic. Yeah. yeah, there is no carbon emissions put out here. No, no. Back to school and ring the bell. Brand new shoes and walking blues, climb the fence and ropes and pins. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. I can tell that we are gonna be friends. Walk with me, soothe me, through the park and by the tree. We will rest upon the ground, look at all the bugs we found. Safely walk to school without a sound. Safely walk to school without a sound. Here we are, no one else. We walk to school all by ourselves. Stirred on our uniforms, chasing all the ants and worms. We've been up and now it's time to learn. Hey guys, Sunday morning. Worst part of the trip is always packing up and getting ready to go. New York Mike's just rinsing his machine off here. Said goodbye to everyone and we are just getting ready to leave so we can do it all over again in a weekend to come. Hope you guys enjoyed the adventure. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the mud trucks. Hope you enjoyed the ride video and all the other shenanigans and the good times. And just a little bit of old school Canadian redneck fun. We'll see you in the next video. Ride safe out there. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. And uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, get some cool shirts, uh, some stickers, then head on over to our Shopify store. It's always something. It just never ends. Yep, just saying bye to Mike. Thanks for coming down, man. I hope you had a good time. Had the best time, man.
If you made it this far, then thanks for watching. I'm really glad you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed Corny's birthday ride and had a fun time at the party. What you watched here is just a group of friends having a great time, living the side-by-side -side life or UTV life, whatever you want to call it. There is no acting up for the camera or showing off. Just a little glimpse into what makes off-roading such an amazing hobby. I'm hoping that in the future I'm lucky enough to meet, ride, and party with some of you. Until then though, see you in the next video and ride safe out there.